Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, and today I'm going to give you a tip for hemming knits with a twin needle. You might have seen what a cover hem looks like, and that is what you see on a lot of sportswear, ready to wear the back. Looks like that. The front has two lines of stitching, and it stretches wonderfully. Well, this one is actually done on a sewing machine. It looks exactly the same on the front, and on the back, it just looks like a bunch of zigzags, but it stretches, that's the key. Then you can get your shirt on over your head. So there's just a couple things you need to do. Here is a stretchy, just a stretchy polyester knit. One thing you need to do first is turn up the hem and press it and give it a good steam and use your tailor's clapper. And what this does is it gives a really nice crease and your hem just folds up and you run it through the machine, which very simple to do. So what a twin needle is, I have two spools of thread, I run it through the machine, threading it all as one. One thread goes through one needle and one thread goes through the other. Same bobbin, everything's, everything else is the same. The only other thing I change is you pick a straight stitch and I change the stitch length to 3.5 or 4.0. Test the stitch on your fabric, it just depends the thickness. And that's it, just what I'm doing is I'm hemming I have the hem folded up and I'm just moving the needle so it, it doesn't go off of the hem, There's the hem allowance, it actually is right on top of it and just stitch. Another thing you might want to do is test your stitch and if you notice your fabric is stretching at all, go into your machine and adjust the height of the presser foot because if it's pushing down too much it might stretch your fabric. Let's see what this looks like. It looks great from the front. It looks like you just bought this right out of a store. The back is just a bunch of zigzags, but it stretches and you'll get the top on over your head. So that's your tip for hemming knits.